Hello everyone! Today we're going to simplify radicals. So, this is just the continuation of my previous video, simplifying radicals under condition 1, uh, removing perfect n powers. We're in, we're going to break down or factor the radical into perfect and non-perfect n powers and apply the property, the nth root of ab is equal to the nth root of a times the nth root of b. And also, we use the property, the nth root of a raised to the n power is equal to a, or the radicon itself. Okay, so today, we're going to reduce the index to the lowest possible order. So, we're going to express the radical into an expression with rational exponent, and then simplify the exponent. So, let us have an example. Let's say number 1. We have the fourth root of 49, x raised to 20, y raised to the 8th power. Okay, so what are we going to do is we have to express the radical into expression with rational exponent and then simplify the exponent. So since that 49 can be written as 7 squared, so, you have to write it that way. Then, we have x raised to 20 and then y raised to the 8th power. Then, after that, raise that to 1 fourth. Okay? Then, using the laws of exponents, we have 7 raised to 2 over 4 because we just multiplied the exponents. And then, x raised to 20 over 4. Then y raised to 8 over 4. Okay. Then let us now simplify the exponent. So we have 7, 7 raised to 1 half. X raised to the 5th power. And then y raised to the 2nd power. Because you just divide. 8 divided by 4, we have 2. 20 divided by 4, we have 5. Okay. Now, since the 7 has an exponent, which is a rational exponent, so that is the only radical, okay? You have to remember that if a variable or a number raised to a rational exponent, that is a radical, okay? So, we have here now x raised to the 5th power, y raised to the 2nd power, and then this one we have is square root of 7, okay? So, this is the answer for number 1. Okay. Next, number 2. Let's say we have 4th root of the quantity x minus 2y raised to the 2nd power. Okay. Of course, here, the base of 2 is x minus 2y, right? So, we have here x minus 2y raised to 2, the exponent, over the index 4. Okay, over 4. Okay, then let us simplify the exponent. We have the quantity of x minus 2y raised to 1 half. Now, since that the exponent is a rational exponent, this is a radical, right? So, what are we going to do is we have to write that into its radical form. So, we have square root of x minus 2y. So, you can enclose it in a parenthesis or you may not. Okay? Okay, next number 3. Let's say we have the fourth root of a squared b raised to the 8th power. Okay, again... We're going to write this into expression with a rational exponent or into exponential form. So, we have a raised to the second power, b raised to the eighth power, raised to one fourth. Then, using the law of exponent, so we have here a raised to the second power, raised to one fourth. So, we have a raised to two over four. Then b raised to 8 times 1 fourth, we have 8 over 4, or 
A raised to 1 half. Then B raised to 8 divided by 4, we have 2. Okay. So, variable A has an exponent which is a rational number. So, meaning to say this is a radical. So, we have to copy B squared. And then this one, we have to make it a radical. We have square root of A. So, this is the answer for number 3. Okay. Next, for number 5. Number 4, rather. We have... The 20th root of 243 x raised to 15 y raised to the fifth power okay so 243 can be written as 3 raised to the fifth power then copy x raised to the 15th power y raised to the fifth power raised to 1 over 20 then Using the law of exponents, so we have base law that is power to a power law of exponents. So we have 5 times 1 over 20. We have 5 over 20. Then x raised to 15 times 1. We have 15 over 20. Then y raised to 5 over 20. Then we have here now 3 raised to one fourth because the lowest term of 5 over 20 is one fourth then x raised to three fourths the lowest term of 15 over 20 is three fourths then y raised to one fourth lowest term of 5 over 20 is one fourth okay then after that as you can see they are all rational exponents where in the denominator is are the same which is 4 okay so we have here the fourth root of 3 x cube y okay this is the answer okay next number 5 let's say we have the sixth root of 144 times a minus b squared okay so let us write this into exponential form so we all know that for 144 can be written as 12 squared okay then copy a minus b squared then raise to 1 over the index 6 1 over 6 then after that we're going to use the power to a power law of exponents we have here 12 raised to 2 over 6 then a minus b raised to 2 over 6 then let us simplify the exponents we have 12 raised to 1 third because 2 over 6 is 1 third then times a minus b raised to one third okay then after that as you can see they have the same rational exponent so we have the cube root of in radical form that is equal to the cube root of 12 times a minus b we have cube root of 12a, we will just multiply 12 times a, we have 12a. 12 times negative b, we have negative 12b. Okay, this is the answer for number 5. Okay, next number 6. Let's say we have the 8th root of 81, x raised to the 4th power. Okay, so what are you going to do is you're going to rewrite 81 into exponential form 3 raised to the 4th power. Then we have here x raised to 4. 
then raise to 1 over 8. Then after that, using the power to a power law of exponents, so we have 3 raised to 4 over 8. Because if you're going to multiply 4 times 1, we have 4. Then denominator of this is 1, so 1 times 8, we have 8. Okay? Then we have x raised to, again, 4 times 1, 8. We have 4 over 8. Then, lowest term of the exponents, we have 3 raised to 1 half. Then x raised to 1 half. Then, to write this into radical form, we have 3x. Okay. So, this is for number 6. 7. We have the 10th root of 625. a raised to 6, y raised to the 8th power. Okay. 625 can be written as 5 raised to the 4th power a raised to 6, y raised to the 8th power, then raised to 1 over 10. Okay, so we have 5 raised to 4 times 1 over 10, so we have 4 over 10, then a raised to 6 over 10, then y raised to 8 over 10. Lowest term of the exponents, so we have 5 raised to 2 over 5, <laughs> a raised to 3 over 5, then y raised to 4 over 5. Then, let us rewrite this now into radical form. So, they have the same denominators. Rational exponents have the same denominator. So, in radical form, this is equal to the fifth root of 5 squared a cube, then y raised to the fourth power, or this is equal to the fifth root of 25, a cube, then y raised to the fourth power. Okay, so this is the simplified form of number 7. Radical expressions, we have the tenth root of 625, a raised to the sixth power, Y is the 8th power. That's all for today. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, and then click the notification button for more videos and updates. Thank you!